How's it going, broskies? Blank Fog here with another Minecraft tutorial. This one is a sliding wall door, pretty much eliminating the need to actually physically open a door. It's a wall inside of a wall that when you step on pressure plates, it opens, you can walk through, and it shuts automatically. This design is probably my favorite redstone design because of how simple it is, how useful it is, and how just good it looks. Now you see you have glass here, and it looks all pretty and fancy, and you can make this look really however you want once you have the frame built and you can make the frame out of any material. So what you're going to need to do this is these materials here and I'm using wood just for demonstration purposes. So you have your material here, your wood blocks or whatever, your wood or stone pressure plates, your redstone torches, your redstone, and your sticky pistons. Now you're going to start off by building a three long and three wide horseshoe sort of shape. You don't want to close it up because your pistons need to be able to extend and have free accessibility to the other side. You want to make this two or three blocks high depending on your preference because you can't have three pi three pistons opening this for your purpose. I'm going to use two just for the video here. So you're going to put your piston on the back wall because when it's extended it's going to be flush with the rest of your frame and be pulling apart your opening material. So you're going to count out two spaces for your opening material which is my wood planks here. You want to make them too high but I'm going to make them too high later. You're going to do the exact same horseshoe shape on the other side making sure to three wide and three long. You're going to make it two blocks high also or three depending on your preference and it'll be all fine and dandy from there. Because once you have this shape made it's going to be look like a dumbbell or something. You're pretty much done with the framing because you know it's it's a simple design as I said and that's all you really need to frame it. That's it really. You can uh, add more covers on it, you can um, put some overhangs, some lights, some glass, some whatever and it'll look great. Now you're going to put pressure plates on either side of your opening material and then dig a two block hole all the way across the wall. You do this because this is where the redstone is going to go and it hides the redstone well, connects everything great, and it looks fine. Now you're going to put a hole under where your pressure plates are, but not on the block itself, the block that, that's under your pressure plates. So the block your pressure plate is on is going to be your conductor and you're going to make a hole under that so your redstone can actually fit under there. Next you're going to dig a hole straight through the other side and find where your piston is under your wall. Now I'm not sure how to really describe what happens here but just kind of watch on screen and follow along. After I put my block there and my redstone torch down I'm going to put a block on top of the redstone torch to activate the first piston. Why this works I am not sure whatsoever but it just does and I accept it because after a while I just kinda quit questioning Minecraft. Next you're gonna put redstone on top of that block and activate the second piston. Where this works I also don't know. You're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side and it'll all be working, connected, and ready to connect for everything else. So this design really is is effective for just kinda getting through a door quickly because when I'm running from like a creeper or something I don't wanna have to be able to turn around and close the door myself because that just kind of wastes time and I couldn't get blown up. While creepers can activate this door like at all mobs can, they usually won't because if they w start, if they open it, they usually won't walk through and if they do, they'll get crushed by the door itself. And you saw me uh, in the first place walking into it and just getting crushed and that's because I'm on creative and I don't get hurt. This will normally hurt you. Now what you're gonna do next is connect your torches to your pistons or your uh, pressure plates I mean and all you gotta do is really just make a little square under the, uh, the pressure plates and connect it to the torches. Next, connect your walkway and cover up the redstone and you're all good to go. Now, this design is seriously one of my favorites and I really hope you guys enjoy it too. If you want to make a video response showing how you created this design, uh, what you used it for, like in your house or your garden or whatever you really made it for, make it. I would love to see your responses and leave a comment and a like if you enjoyed it. If you guys haven't subscribed already, please do so. And there's going to be more Minecraft, more Call of Duty, more just everything awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Once again, my name is Blink Fog, And I will see you guys later with more Minecraft, Call of Duty, and maybe some news and stuff. See you later.